I was very fortunate. I always wanted to be a nurse. I always um, loved caring for people. I think I was about 10 years old when I decided I wanted to be a nurse. I graduated from nursing school in 1990 from NKU. And at that time I was working as a nurse assistant um, at, at St. Elizabeth. Like when we would come into work, we would go to staffing and we would find out where, which floor we were gonna work on that day. So I, I would work the, the oncology floor a lot and um, I grew to love that and I grew to love the people that worked there. So that's why I chose to work oncology. I worked in patient oncology for 18 years and then I've worked, been in cancer care for seven years. My goal, in, and I've had um, patients say this to me, to give them the best care that I can, but not just to focus on their cancer, to focus on them as a whole patient. And you know, I you know, understand that they are more than just their cancer. There's one that, we that she just walked by earlier. One of my coworkers actually told me that she had to have all of her teeth pulled because some of her teeth were bad. And she was, it was before she, um, started her chemotherapy and her doctor was afraid that um, she might get an infection which can be very serious to a patient undergoing chemotherapy because your immune system's down and when my co-worker told me about how she had to have her teeth pulled I, I, my heart just went out to her I just wanted to get some dentures for her so um, actually my brother is a dentist and I asked him like how much would it cost and he told me if I could raise a thousand dollars that he would do it so I started talking to my coworkers, and about a week later I got an email back from the foundation and they funded the whole project for me, which was unbelievable. She's gonna get um, her dentures in about a week or so. She's all finished with her chemotherapy and she's cancer free. And I remember when I first started taking care of her, like she didn't really like to be touched or have, you know, any physical contact. And now like, every time she sees me, she's like, Shannon, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. And um, she gives me a hug and she's just really sweet. I have three brothers, I'm the only girl, um, two older and one younger brother. I was um, a daddy's girl and, and my dad was really instrumental in me having a, um, a good spiritual life. He led by example and he was always very faithful to the Catholic Church and started some um, retreat programs at Covenant Catholic in Notre Dame and my mom was more on the, the quiet side and um, but very instrumental in, in my faith as well. Actually, I met my husband here at St. Elizabeth. It would have been in 1989. Um, I was a nurse assistant and he was a transporter in SPD. I remember like he would he would go, if he knew I was working, he would find out what floor, I, like I said earlier, we would work on the different floors and he would find out what floor I was working on and he would try to get all of his calls up there so that he could help me. <laughs> I have three children, um, two girls and a boy in the middle. My oldest is uh, Megan, she's 21. Megan goes to NKU and Matthew is 19, he goes to Western, and my youngest Gabby is a senior at Notre Dame Academy. Well, that's what I always tell people that are thinking about going into nursing as a profession. It's a great profession to raise a family because I've worked all different shifts, I've worked um, weekend night shift for two years when my kids were in grade school. So I would work Friday, Saturday night, and then I would be home like all through the week to help them with their homework. I've worked full time. I've worked part, I worked part time evenings. So I, I just think it, it, it worked out great for my family. I, I get to live out my passion. I, I love caring about people and I love caring for people. It's not a burden to me. It's like, I love coming to work every day because I get to do what, what it is I like to do. I have a pretty avid sports collection. Um, I have part of it in my office. It's a lot worse once you get to my home. Uh, there's pictures of athletes everywhere. I've got baseballs, footballs, baseball bats. 